I'm asking everybody this question since it's been such a large topic uh, across everything lately. Uh, but what are your thoughts on AI and how do you think it's affected business owners and entrepreneurs currently? And how do you think it will affect them in the future? It's a dangerous question to answer. You know, <laughs> someone said it's difficult to make predictions, especially about the future. So by the time this is released, uh, it will become, it may become obsolete. I think we need to keep evaluating AI and understanding where we need to keep the um, the human touch, if you like. Uh, I was listening to uh, a, a previous episode you released with uh, with Mike Moll, mm. and at the end of that, he gave one actionable advice about effective delegation. Yeah, about thinking or writing down everything you do and, and then having uh think four columns and then thinking about delegation right so ai would mean that you andy need to focus on the most strategic critical and revenue creating activities that may be only 10 percent of our current time today mm -hmm. instead of automating stuff that could be delegated or deleted or given to someone else it's tough to do because as human as human beings we're not wired that way but that's it that is the right thing to do right it's uh i mentioned on this on that podcast as well um that for me it helps it's a more of a brainstorming tool we use it for a lot of different things uh yes. to automate certain tasks and just like I don't know, just helping us a lot with content producing and summarizing show notes, stuff like that. But I find that um, there's a lot of times when I'm doing thought work, whether it's creating new content, preparing for episodes or working on just my own services, um, I can use it as a tool with feedback, if that makes sense. So I can put my input into the text and I can play around with things. I may not use the whatever I'm talking to it about, but I can use it to brainstorm my ideas and build on them. And I found that super interesting because a lot of people are afraid to use the platform. And there's an, you know, I think there's pros and cons if we look to this hundred years down the road. Um, but it's an interesting tool that I can't, I can't get those features when I use Google. I can't go on Google mm -hmm and type in an idea to try to brainstorm around it without getting a million different results that are irrelevant. Wow, that's amazing. I think the method you suggested is, is excellent because it would keep the human elements and probably delegate some of the things that you, you could find them, but it would take you a lot of time. And your ability is to look at that and, and improve it. Mm -hmm. And that's where your experience comes in. So even if AI gets faster and better and more accurate and more up to date, there's always the edge of, of things you learn the hard way, serving people and serving clients. And maybe you would change, you know, 10% today and, and 5% in three months and only 1% in, in a year's time. Right. But it's that single percent entity that will <laughs> make or break the proposal, the content or whatever it, whatever it is. Yeah, and I think the the fear that everyone has is that's going to replace all their, you know, you're going to be replaceable. And while that may be true, I still believe that most people want to do business with other people. I don't necessarily think that most of us want to de be talking to a chatbot and we could talk to a person. There's a quote saying that uh, it's not that AI will, will replace people, but it will replace people. Uh, people who use AI will replace people who don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it can help with output, like I said, or just brainstorming. I, I struggle when I'm looking at a blank page and uh, I think that's when the ADHD sets in and then it's easy to check my phone and do other things if I'm having such a hard time to just generate whatever the idea is. So um, so before I get to my last question, do you have any, do you have any other tips on people on how to use the platform for leads or anything that maybe we haven't covered so far? Maybe one 30 second suggestion, if I may. Absolutely. Um, just visit the most interesting prospects you want publicly. And that means that they, in some cases, they will be able to see that Andy has visited their profile 
and then they would be one click away from going to your profile and hopefully visiting the website and then maybe scheduling a call, a visit or whatever it is. Mm -hmm.